exciting. We are sharing appealing, motivating destinations to consider when you're planning your next vacation. We've partnered with Expedia Group for our great getaways week. And this morning, we're kicking things off with off the beaten track outdoor destinations from travel expert Samantha Brown. Thank you. <laughs> Mark and I love to earmark destinations, mm -hmm. and then we never make it happen. Exactly. Yeah. It's it, you know, and just planning travel makes puts you in that happy place. Does, that's that's right. what you want to do. Mm -hmm. All right. What's our first destination? So our first destination is Anza Borrego Desert State Park. This Whoa. is just two hours outside of San Diego, and you are in this mountainous desert landscape. Borrego Springs is the main town, and it is an international dark sky community. That means it protects its night sky from light pollution. And the same way people protect their earth and their rivers, it protects their night sky so you can stargaze. Oh. So you millions of stars and planets visible to the naked eye. And then it is also very unique in that it has an outdoor sculpture garden, 130 massive, fantastical, mythical beasts in metal sculpture form that just dot the landscape there's even a 350 foot serpent that traverses the land, goes under the street. It's unbelievable, and you can hike to him. Um, there's hiking, there's four wheeling, so it's just this totally different area, but very close to San, San Diego. Diego. We love yeah, San Diego. Exactly, you're just yeah. right there. And it also oddly looks like it could be used in a movie as like simulating Mars or something. Exactly, yeah, yeah right. I'm sure, I'm sure mm -hmm. Lucas Films knows it, yeah. it exists. <laughs> Do you recommend any destinations around here? Yes, Letchworth State. Park. This is in western New York. It's close to both Buffalo and Rochester, okay. an hour from there. Wow. So really easy to get to. Uh, it is considered the Grand Canyon of the East. It has 12 waterfalls, just like this. This is one that shakes the earth. It's so powerful. Mm. But it is also home to the Autism Nature Trail, the only one of its kind in the United States. It's a one-mile loop, features eight pavilions. Each pavilion focuses on a challenge or skill that someone on the spectrum needs to work towards. Everyone is invited to take this loop, uh, even neurotypical people. And so then not only are you having this adventure, mm. you're also creating empathy. Temple Grandin is on the board. Three women raised $3.5 million oh, to How have this. It's an absolutely extraordinary place. And again, you're very close to both Buffalo and Rochester. So these are off the beaten path, Mark and yeah. Kelly, but they're not like hard to get to. And they're all affordable we places. Go I, would, I would love, yeah, to, yeah. I would love, love to see it. that. <laughs> you should go we there. We should. Uh, we should. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's our next destination? I know what that means. I watched you in the green <laughs> right. room. I know what that means. What's next? Uh, so next up, I believe, is where are we next? Uh, is it um, oh Quebec Ooh. City? Oh, okay. So Quebec not City, not entirely yes. domestic, but a lot for a lot of the United States, we're two to three hours away on a flight. Beautiful there. So Quebec City in the winter turns into an adventure land that has no equal. You can go ice canoeing. Mm. This is an actual sport in Quebec only place you can do this in the world. You get on a canoe on the St. Lawrence River in February and you canoe, but there are ice flows in the way. So what do you do? You don't go around them, you go over them. You have to ram your canoe up onto the ice flow and then get half of your leg out while you scoot. Anyone can try this, by the scoot, way. Scoot this is a sport that anyone, you scoot and, and go over the ice. Sometimes the ice isn't ice, it's actually the river. Uh -huh. And now your leg goes into the river. Uh -huh. and, and then, <laughs> yeah. And so, so, yeah, 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 exactly. Listen, it's adventure. We need to take a little break but more off the beaten track outdoor destinations to consider when we come back we're back with travel ex expert samantha brown and she's sharing more exciting travel destinations what's next so colorado springs colorado yes. of course oh, the outdoor colorado. adventure abounds colorado springs is where that adventure becomes accessible to all abilities mm -hmm. and ages so they have garden of the gods this is actually a public park and it has these massive rock formations ancient mountains that you can rock climb they have yoga you can do outdoor adventures but it also has a ring road with a trolley so it brings anyone with any sort of ability out towards those rocks so they can have that experience too how nice. Yeah. Where do you recommend staying in a place? Well, like Colorado that? Springs, you have every, you know, you can camp, you can RV, but also it's a major city, so you mm -hmm. can stay in chain hotels to absolutely like a historic 100-year-old resort. Oh. All right, what's, what's next? next? Oh, uh, so next, uh, we have Oregon. Again, another outdoor Beautiful. adventure yeah. state. Very few people wow. realize that it is has a desert. Eastern uh, Oregon is a desert. This is the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. It has the painted hills, red, yellow, orange. It's like Mars. You can camp, you can kayak, you can go horseback riding, and you can stay in cattle ranches uh, where you can stay at the uh, with accommodations, but they can go out on cattle drives. So it's a real west adventure, but out east.
in Oregon. Wow. <laughs> and uh, what's next? <clears throat> And then my home state, New Hampshire, I'm originally from New Hampshire, uh, we have both a mountains region mm -hmm. and a lakes region, and they're only about an hour from each other, so you don't have to choose which adventure you have. You can have both lakes, mountains, that's Lake Winnipesaukee, then you can go to Mount Washington, which is the highest mountain in the north, make it to the top, the top has the most extreme weather in the United States, so being on the top is an adventure. Wow. Yeah. And <laughs> I've got to tell you, is there one final destination? I think the one that you're gonna love, because I know you love to cold plunge, yes. Bern, Switzerland. Beautiful mm. capital city of Switzerland, right? This obviously isn't <sighs> domestic. That's Latterbrunnen, which is a part of uh, the Berlin Ober, um, uh, Oberland. Um, but the river in Bern, Switzerland, you can swim in it, and all the locals have dry bags. They walk down after work, put their suit in the dry bag, jump in the river, and use the river to commute home. Oh my gosh. Did you love to do that? That was Thank so you. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's Thank incredible. Thank you, Samantha. Yeah, that nice was to see great. You. For more like this, check, make sure you check out her travel series, Samantha Brown's Places to Love on PBS. But up next, Jordan Davis performs. Live has partnered with Expedia Group to unveil Unpack 24, the trends in travel, a report based on the company's unmatched travel expertise that includes eight new travel trends. Scan the QR code to learn more and download the Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo apps to start planning your next adventure.